wanna see the flame, so don't spark the match. We like rookie Kurt Angle, make your ankle snap. Three amigos like Eddie, but don't lie, you steal. Only cheat when we gotta, but to win, we will. Mike skills like Dusty, but go hard like Brock. I'm a stunner like Austin, dropping elbows like Mach. Y'all don't wanna see the finish, cause it's us on top. One, two, three, get the V and get a warrior pop. Yo! Hey guys, it's another edition of the Bump Boys Podcast. Here we are with the Monday Night Raw review. WrestleMania Raw. Here we go. Six days out. Let's do this. Let's see what they got for us. What's going on, guys? Mr. Underscore Wolf 95, a.k.a. King William, a.k.a. Actually, I did that wrong. A.k.a. Will, a.k.a. King William. Like we said, we got Danny. We're going to be going over this Raw. I wasn't a big fan of this Raw. I thought for... I wasn't either. I was in and out. I was studying for, like, a manager type thing. Yeah. Like, I was, like, I was at the point where I was just, like... It was weird. This is one of those Raws weird? where you could skip going into WrestleMania. Yes. Like, for it being a WrestleMania Raw, or, like, you know, obviously the, the Raw before WrestleMania, there were some good moments, which I'm not going to lie. but There, there were, were some also, funny times. Yeah. But there was a lot of eh moments. So we will kick off with Brock Lesnar in the ring giving us the promo. Uh, I actually liked the promo. I thought it was pretty good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not bad. You know? I like the video package. Mm-hmm. Always, always beautiful. Always nice. Cowboy honestly, Brock. <laughs> honestly, some of the best segments tonight were Seth Rollins in WWE Tower. Mm-hmm. That was probably an up. That was a decent one. We could talk about that. So, yeah. So, we'll, yeah, we'll touch on that. But with the uh, the Brock Lesnar segment, it's nice to see Cowboy Brock. He was allowing the people to do the what? I'm gonna be here for Stone Cold. What? He's gonna be there too. What? That was nice. Um, but you can kind of feel like they were going to cram a shit ton of stuff into this Raw because there was no Roman coming out to confront him because they were like, oh, Roman's going to come out and have his own promo to give us with no confrontation. So I was like, mm, I don't no know how I feel about that. No, but I thought Roman's promo was good later on. Yeah, his promo later on w- was pretty good. We, uh, could we, just do the, we could just do those back to back because it's really. Yeah, we, we could do that. Yeah, keep... since we're there. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I had to go do laundry, so I missed most of Roman's. So I'll let you take that away. Uh, Roman's promo wasn't bad. I liked the look, great aesthetics, especially all of them wearing red with the blue titles looked fabulous. I'm not even trying to be weird. It looked very good, like clashing. I appeal like it looked out really nice. Facts, like you saw probably pictures. Yeah, I saw some of it. Yeah, it was looking good. You know, they were in the all red. Uh, I think it's an all red jump man. Like, he he did really get his usual. Just he's very intense. Like it was a good promo. Like a classic. I don't Roman. see him. I don't. I don't. This basically him just saying, "Oh, I'm gonna have both titles now." But kind of talking shit about Fox. He did talk shit about Fox. I did hear that. Yeah, about how uh, he was mentioning, he, you know, how he had been on Raw and he had, uh, Fox came calling saying they needed him to save him, so he had to come over there and. Uh, Help the sinking ship afloat. Uh, so I did. I did yeah, because he went part. over there right when they started, right when they switched over to the Fox. Facts. So with he the, won him them to leave Fox. So, but so with us getting you know a Brock promo and a Roman promo, please don't give us another <laughs> promo on SmackDown. I really don't want another promo. Just give us a confrontation. Just have Facts. a brawl. Give us a brawl. Yeah, I would like to see that. Just give us a, a just nice full dirty on brawl in Dallas. Yep. Just give us just open brawl or end brawl with a brawl. Yeah, I would like that. Yeah. That, just, that would, just do it. It'd be nice. Like, you literally don't even need SmackDown for this show because literally it was all SmackDown superstars and raw superstars. And that's what kind of made me not like this show, but we'll touch on that a little later. Uh, we were supposed to have apparently Street Profits versus Alpha Academy. I believe that that did get scratched. And yes, I'm pretty got... sure that did not happen. I don't know. Did you see? Speaking about Alpha Academy, we're on this subject. Did you see the Snickers commercial? I did with the thank you. I like it. I th- I thought that was I thought that was great. It was that good. came out of nowhere because I personally like like I said, Chad Gable to me, what he's done with this tag team so far has been awesome and like been his whole persona breakout star so far in 2021. Yeah, in my dude. opinion, he's found himself. Uh, but let's touch on the um. So we had Rey Mysterio with Dominic coming out, um, and then they had first Miz coming out with Lucho Logan, uh, because last I thought week, that was lame. Yeah, I thought that was whack as fuck. I didn't get the whole point too. Like, so I thought this was weird as shit because, you know, Miz stole the mask last week. He gave it to Logan. Logan came out with it. 
his head is big as shit for that match. <laughs> he couldn't even buckle it up. Uh, and then Dominic got disqualified because he started attacking the Miz before the beginning of the match. The referee said, "Get the fuck out of here! You're not doing that shit in my in my in my town." I thought but, that was actually I thought that was a great referee. Yeah, well, I thought whatever that, that was, referee yeah. was on. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was actually. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I thought that was good because it kind of makes sense. Like, all right, you just attacked someone who's going to be competing in a match. Uh, the match was okay. Like, there was nothing really special to me about it. No. And the ending was just weird. After the Miz lost, Logan just stood there while he watched his ass get beat up. Like I said, I'm not I'm not looking forward to this WrestleMania match with Logan. Like, dude, I, dude, Logan's gonna be terrible. Facts, yeah. He just he has Miz the, is gonna have to carry this match, and it's gonna be. It's I'm happy it's the Miz that has to carry it, but still. Mm-hmm. I feel like the Miz probably can see a little bit of himself in Logan. You know, a lot of hatred. You know, when someone starts to get some star oh, yeah, fame, fandom. Yeah. Yeah, but this is an okay segment. Uh, we'll move on next to uh, this first squash. <laughs> this is the first squash of the. Uh, you want to do with uh, Seth Rollins stuff first, or you want to save that? Yeah, so we can touch the uh, the Seth Rollins. Uh, yeah, let's touch the uh, Seth Rollins one as a nice little break in between matches. Um, I'm not gonna uh, lie. I didn't like this promo, yo. I'm sorry. I hate Seth Rollins' fake laugh. I thought it. I thought it was pretty funny. Like the dance, I, I thought I, was funny. No, I thought him dancing throughout WWE Tower was hysterical. Like I, I was it. just like, uh, I think the funny part is like nine oh five. He's still not in the meeting. Mm-hmm. Oh no, it was eight. It was, uh, yeah, eight oh five, and then eight forty five. He was like, oh, finally. But Vince, like, did you hear Vince like kind of like mess up? Like he said something twice. Like he reset it again twice. I forgot what it was, but he was like, mm-hmm. yeah. So you're gonna be at WrestleMania, and then he was like, yeah, you're gonna be at WrestleMania. Like, he repeated something twice, and I was just like, oh. Vince uh, is but like. What do you think about the jumping on the table at the end? I thought that was the best part of the promo. I thought that was funny. No, I thought it was hysterical. I would have been funny. He's like, get the hell off my table before mm-hmm. you get fired. Facts. I think the funniest part is he thinking he was going to get fired. Yeah, I thought I thought that was funny too. That I'll just do it myself. You're yeah, fine. I just don't like Seth's fake laugh. Like, it's not even a good fake laugh. To me, it's just so forced. I thought it would have been funny if they threw tags at the future endeavors. He's yeah. like, oh, don't give me my future endeavors. Don't give me my future endeavors. Mm-hmm. Give us, give us. I thought they could have given us a little something more, but it was, it was okay promo. Um, I mean, let, Seth had to carry it, but it was okay. Yeah, of course. But let's move on to the first squash. Holy shit, WWE! You literally, well, I don't even like them anyway, but you squashed the Viking Raiders in this one. <laughs> you fed Dude. them to Omos, bro. Like holy shit! You could have had local competitors, and this would have been fine with me. Oh yeah, they should have. Or you could have had um. You could have had uh, Apollo Crews and uh, Commander Aziz. I would have rather have had that than if you're going to squash literally one of your former tag team champions, the Viking Raiders. You made them, and you literally Dude, made them lose by a count went, out. They literally just went for the tag titles. The last <laughs> they squashed the shit. And it was a bad squash. Like one hit, this motherfucker eye popped out and like he was on the ground, outside the ground. Um, Dude, that was Eric. This was a terrible raw. Yeah. But wait, wait, they did reward us with a little bit of, you know, they took a piece of shit, they compressed it, and turned it into a diamond. Bobby Lashley returned after, and I really like That liked, match is going to slap. It's going to slap, but I, you have to admit, what they did between, you know, Omos, you know, I will say this, Omos needs to chill a little bit with the, you you know, get, you can get these hands, you can, you know, you I want the smoke. He's kind of taking a little bit too much from, like, Braun Strowman and, like, the Street Profits. He needs to kind of get his own verbiage. Yeah. Unless um, they're trying to tell him that it was a shit. Yeah, but I will say this: that uh, that little giant standoff they had, you know, going back and forth, back and forth, and then uh, finally Bobby Lashley does the John Cena shoulder truck. <laughs> That's exactly what he did to get the win. I thought that was pretty good. I thought that was great, and I think that it's kind of crazy that Bobby Lashley is now facing Omos at WrestleMania. That man had a title, like yeah, who would have thought about that? But where do you go from? I feel like this, like, where do you go? Like I said, my issue with that match was where do you go from You're kind there? of fucked with this booking. I think so. Like, it's just like, it's it's like WWE. They love to do the 50-50 booking. But at WrestleMania, it's like you really can't do the 50-50 booking. So, like, where do you go? But we will touch on that when we get to our WrestleMania predictions. Next up, such a disappointment, yo. No Stone Cold. Kevin Owen comes out, cuts another amazing, decent pro well, above they average. They should have had him. They should have had KO come out. If KO cuts one on Friday. Yeah. Stone Cold should have came out for this Raw. Since you didn't give us Cody, 
to give us the hype, you should have at least had Stone Cold come out, give us a classic Raw, hell yeah, crack a couple beers open, and then Kevin Owens at least interrupts us or some shit like that and just says, I'll see. It doesn't say anything, just points. I have a question. Do you have Cody debut Friday? Do you think Fox gets nah. the Cody debut? Well, remember, Cody's the Raw guy. So, nah, I don't, I don't think so. Nah. Remember, because Cody, that means you have to hide him all weekend. That means you yeah. have to hide him basically till Saturday. Yeah, they'll do what they did with the Hardys. Like, remember when that was like a, a complete surprise? Like, no one even knew it was the Hardys. They actually kind of hid that one. Remember the few WrestleManias back when they came back? Yeah. With the, no, the everyone knew threat? it was them. If everyone knew it was them, but, but they hid still, it well. Yeah. yeah. It was a decent surprise for, you know, with the internet and everything. Uh, but I, I feel like they missed the chance to have Stone Cold come and, you know, like this is what the moment you want Stone Cold for. Like, he should have yeah. showed up, sold some tickets. Um, Mm-hmm. But it is what it is. We'll move on. We have the eight woman tag. I went to the bathroom. I went to the bathroom and eat. I'm sorry. These eight, these, I can't watch eight women. I can't watch eight man, eight man tag or eight woman tag. Yeah. Like it just kind of felt like, I don't know. It just kind of like, oh, we have to do something. Hmm? Yeah. Facts. Oh, it's yeah. It's like, it's like, oh, we have to do something with these. Yeah. Like eight. I get. Like, I like some of the tag teams, but don't get me wrong. I love the Rhea Ripley, Liv Morgan. They're like, you know, over the time of the last, like, you know, five months or four to five months, you know, they've both been, you know, going for the titles. They've both been involved in these elimination chambers, that kind of stuff, or a rumble. Like, I like that. But it just feels like they literally were just like, oh, shit, we got tag team belts? <laughs> two months later, two months ago. Oh, Sasha and uh, <laughs> Naomi randomly get together. Oh, uh, Shayna uh, and Italia. I'm okay with Naomi and Liv. I mean, I mean, I'm okay with Naomi and Sasha. I'm okay with. Well, no, no, no. But I, like I said, I, the we talked about the it. I'm okay with it. Together like, aren't bad. It's just random. It's just out of nowhere. It's just you know they're only doing it because of WrestleMania. That's my issue. That's the issue. I, oh my god, that's the issue I have with it. It was just how random that shit came out. Yeah, they need to like. I hope Bria and Liv get it and like maybe add some prestige to it. Yeah. But then again, I, w- like I would that. like to see Rhea versus uh, Bianca. That's a match I really want to see, you know, bring so it back. So how are you going to break up Rhea and Liv, too? They just don't win the titles. No, nah, I would get the titles probably to Shayna and Natalia. I could see them having it. Or you just give it probably to Sasha and uh, Naomi, and then you have them just doing uh, Natalia, Shayna. You know, they'll just do like eight matches in a row, you know, same old WWE bullshit. <laughs> um, but let's move on to the promo of the of the of the day. I don't want the, I don't want Sasha and the, I don't want Sasha and Naomi. They gotta do something with it. But let's move on to the uh, uh, so before the Bianca, there was another squash match. WWE, what the fuck are you guys doing? Ricochet, Ricochet loses oh Austin my. Theory in less than like two minutes. Like Ricochet got a little bit of offense in, but they squashed him clean. Dude, what are they doing to the Intercontinental Title? Bro, I have no like, and this is the shit that I'm talking about. Like, they literally did something great with Ricochet, and then two weeks later, they do some bullshit like this, yo. I knew Dude, they damn. buried him like three. No, they said he's lost three consecutive matches since winning those. Yes, Danny. I once SmackDown had that weird ass shit that happened with Los Lotharios. This just is the this is the cherry on the cake of a piece of shit, cake. bro. Austin Theory could have faced anyone else. Yeah. Honestly, that makes me think uh, Ricochet's going to retain on Friday. But yeah, he is. Yeah, I, I'm not worried about that. It's just like, what the fuck? Just like, what? Why? Honestly, actually, no, it wouldn't shock me if Humberto or or oh, one of just a bullshit. Wait, wait, but why would you bring the Intercontinental Champion over to Raw to lose to Austin Theory, who's still a newbie? Don't get me wrong, he's still a still new the to the face. Only thing I hope is that uh. WWE pays the money for uh, white stripes and has Pat McAfee come out to uh, disseminate his uh, theme theme that he uses for when he comes out for SmackDown. Because the SmackDown yeah. theme is they let McAfee pick the song he wants because it's not on TV, so mm-hmm. they don't have to do the rights. So I'm hoping they got the rights for it. Hopefully, so that some... uh, McAfee comes out to Seven Nation Army. Hopefully, something like that, but. Back to this. This was this was dog shit. This is this is the shit that makes me like not want to watch WWE when they do shit like this. Yep. I it's thought shit. at least McAfee would get just have McAfee get involved. And cost him, yeah. Like <laughs> this, I'm telling have you. Have McAfee is, like punt Austin Theory or something. Yeah, or if cost him the win or some shit like that. That's like, Austin Theory's finisher is the punt kick because facts. he's a punter. Because he's facts. a punter. Yeah. 
But this is the shit that I hate when WWE does. But they gave us probably the best promo of the month, honestly. The Bianca Belair promo was really good. Honestly, that was probably one of her best promos. And she didn't say the EST a lot, which I was happy. Yeah. She didn't go too crazy into, you know, her sass, which I, I like. She was it actually. It makes me think, feel like they're going to pull a double turn. Mm-mm. You think they pull a double turn? In what way? They have uh, Sasha and, and they turn Becky face and no, 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 Bianca no. heel. No, I can't see Bianca being a heel. Like, I just, to be a heel, you really got to be nasty on the mic, in my opinion. Look at Edge. Look at Becky. Look at Randy. Like, you really have to be able to rock that mic. And she's not there yet, in my opinion. But I will say this. What they did with this promo, oh, my bad. Obviously, the cutting of the hair I liked, but she didn't cut enough hair off. I thought we were going to see, like, r- short, short, short hair Becky, like, type thing. Dude, what? her hair looked fine after she cut it. After, after she got yeah. that promo in the back. I was like, what the? F-? <laughs> That's what, you know, what it was. she probably, because she, you know, you know, normally she doesn't have that much hair. Yeah, you could tell over the last couple of months, like, right, we're going to have your hair cut before WrestleMania. So build up your hair as much as you can <laughs> so we can cut it off. Um but I thought the promo was good, and then like the whole like hitting her with the uh, the EST, like hitting her with the uh, the two uh, two finishers, I thought were really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she looked I strong. Was good. I feel um, like they should have broken up. They should have had a better brawl. They should have helped Bianca back more. Yeah, a little bit of a dangerous brawl, you know. You know, all that chaos with scissors, you know, may poke someone's eye out. Yeah, but I thought have, it was pretty you good. Show kids that scissors is bad. Yeah, facts. <laughs> well, they were, you know, they were. They, that's why That's why uh, Adam Pierce wasn't really going in there. You knew he didn't want to get poked with a poker. Uh, but we had Edge cutting a nice dark promo. Do you know what Edge reminded me of? What? He reminded me of the, the Black family, the Black Order right now in AEW. Did he not Dude, look like I he could like fit? I feel like they're copying exactly <laughs> the shit. That Alice, you know, did, tell me that did not look like Edge was like the, go- the, grand, the master grandfather, the master wizard behind the scene. I was just like, am I watching AEW for a second? Dude, it's like Vince is like watching. It's like I must steal this idea, yep. this idea, and that, and then maybe we, maybe I'll steal back Captain Insano. <laughs> uh, but it was a good promo. Then AJ cut his promo after. I thought it was okay. But the highlight, wrestling wise, what do you think about this RK Bro and the Usos match? It was it was it was great. I thought it was good. I thought it lived up. This reminded me of a classic Raw main event, and this is the shit that I feel like WWE like they they. They fail on. Like, you gave us a really good main event. Like, I, I watched the whole match. I was actually very impressed. It, it reminded me of an old-school kind of raw main hey, event. Hey, we missed uh, Happy Corbin, Drew McIntyre. Oh, yeah. Doodle. Oh, I think the funniest part about that had the uh, Drew's reaction to watching Becky's promo before his match. Oh, yeah, the... Mm. <laughs> He's like, uh, I yeah, That was doo-doo as well, so we'll just skip that. We didn't miss that, but <laughs> that was trash. Um, it's the same shit that's been happening yeah. for like the, on SmackDown. Same old, same old. Uh, but the RK Bro match, they with brought the, the Usos. SmackDown doo doo over. Yeah, basically, uh, they, they pulled a bunch of like this was. You had such. So, you could have done so much here. At least you gave us this good main event, which I thought the main event was really good. Except you ended it like three minutes short. You could literally see the ref saying, "Oh, Randy, you, uh, can you guys do something else? There's like three minutes left of the show." And then Randy was like, "What?" Randy went to the other side of the ring, walked back. No, Randy, really, it's short. We need you to do something else. <laughs> so Randy's like, hi, right, uh, let's just RKO them twice again, and then we'll stand up with the belt. And, um, but the match was good. It ended on the disqualification, which I didn't mind, the Street Profits. This is your chance to turn the Street Profits. Honestly, this is your chance to turn uh, Montez Ford against Angelo Dawkins. I think you should. You know, if they lose at WrestleMania, he blames him like, bro, like, you know, I've been doing all this. I've been doing all the work. Like, you're literally not, like, improving. Just, or just laughing half the time. Yeah, facts. Just give us something to where it's like you're holding me back. And then, yeah, like. you're going to get to a weird Tucker Otis shit. Remember Tucker? Yeah. Or what if you did a storyline of, like, maybe Montez Ford, like, if Bianca wins, maybe Montez Ford gets jealous. Like, oh, you know, maybe D'Angelo says, oh, hey, uh, she's won a world title before you have. And then that, like, no, he, triggers she's Montez. She's won one. Well, I know, I know, but I mean, like, she's won multiple. Let's just say that, like, oh, she's won multiple. You haven't even won one. What if she, he says some slick shit like that, and then, like, you know, it kind of like pushes them aside. I mean, it's, it's I don't know. This, I don't this know, just to spice it up, of, give us some different storylines. I don't know I don't, something. All I know is this raw was like the start of it's been, it's giving me very low hopes for this week. Yeah, and then SmackDown. Honestly, 
This week, I'm looking for obviously to WrestleMania, but AEW, please, <laughs> can you please just come through with a good dynamite and a good rampage? Do, just a good dynamite. Do rampage. Uh, rampage is going to be hard because we're going to have to watch, like, I kind of now want to watch the Hall of Fame because congratulations to the Steiners. Correct. Yeah. Uh, I we, can't believe they did it. I can't believe they actually put him in after. I, th- I don't know which one talks shit about the WWE Hall of Fame. One of them said, like, oh, oh I it's don't Scott. Be it's in Scott. That easily shit. Scott. Yeah, it's easy Scott Steiner. He's talked so much shit about WWE in the past. Uh, but we'll is have it a, funny how they put him in? It is, but wait, wait, we'll have a different video on that where we'll do our whole list of the inductee Hall of Fame. So I know we did a news thing on it, but we'll go back and highlight some of the, our favorite matches of the Steiner Bros uh, moments, stuff like that. But what are we going to give Raw a rating this week? What's, what's the dealio? Five. Yeah, this was bad. This is like a four and a half. Like you literally had a great main event and then you just gave us, uh, maybe you had two event, squashes. Maybe gets it to six. If, yeah maybe but now nah, i'm giving it a four bro like it was just like it literally felt like i was watching a raw and a smackdown which it was <laughs> in one in three hours bro there was so yeah. much you could have just given us good good wrestling but you uh, up. i feel like pat McAfee got robbed from being on five man commentary i'm happy they didn't do yeah. five man com- i think the five man commentary would have been too much yeah the four been, man was too much great hey i'll say this michael cole was roasting the shit out of uh um, Corey Graves. Corey Graves, and he was like, "Hey, you know, look at uh, Baron Corbin reminds me of you, Corey Graves. You know, rags are riches, but you're the rags." <laughs> I started dying. But anyway, yo, dude, dude, I thought Michael Cole was great tonight. Yeah, I thought so too. I miss him on Raw. Honestly, I would like them to shake it up after WrestleMania. But that was our review of this week's. Who would you send special the, to be with Pat? I, I don't think know. Pat. I think by uh, well, Danny, we'll figure it out. We gotta, we gotta end this show, my want, Okay. This end the show. We'll, 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 no, you're good. We'll do this on. Uh, we'll do this on next, uh, this Friday. Okay. We'll we'll, we'll uh, add a because I feel like Friday's a shorter show. We'll do we'll do our uh, our little future booking at the end of like who we will replace uh, yeah. Pat McAfee to, or okay. Michael Cole with. Um, so check out overall, Friday for that video. Yeah, Friday's gonna be a good video. But overall, this raw you could have done so much. It was ass. It's been your boy Wilbur. Then Swagger Bomb ninety two. Follow us up on the Twitter, Instagram. Danny, if you want to plug all our uh, all our podcasts, where you can find us on the oh, podcast. Oh, so yeah, check us out on all podcast formats now for the first episode, which dropped last night. So yep, check new them out. era begun. Be- Shout out to Danny for for taking care of that for us. Uh, should and be then, fun. Should be interesting. It's, it's gonna be amazing. Are, so yeah, and then also the uh, I did say I was gonna get up yesterday, but the Twitch will be going up uh, later tonight or tomorrow, and then uh, okay. more gameplay will be coming out on that. So, it's been the Bump Boys. Peace out. Must be you, Jew. Goodbye. Mwah. Oh. Good night. Oh, my God. It's so great. Bang!